No, it's not easy. Having to relive what I put you through, you have every right to still be angry. You know, I... I think that I finally understand why you left me. Do you really? Now you're marrying my brother. It's... What? You shouldn't have to go through this. He shouldn't have to go... This is just no, it's no, too much. No, so. no, it's keeping you safe. Hey, I've been looking for you. Oh, i got to check on that patient. Paging Dr. Battaglia. Call extension 198. Dr. Battaglia, extension 198. Did I interrupt something? No, babe. No, we just had to get rid of that uh, agent obnoxious, the immigration officer. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. We just, we all have to stick to the same story. Carol will be safe, and we'll all get through this, and we will get our life back. I promise. Your daughter is a very unique person. Very special. She's very brave. May I call you mom? How old are you? Hello. Yes, this is he. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks very much. FBI trace on Madison's phone came back the same as all the other ones that Nanny called from a disposable cell phone. I can't trace. She'll call again. She'll call someone. You know what? I, I, got, I, got, I got to go see Madison. I got to go. You need to stay healthy. I made you a promise, a promise I've never made to anybody. But you're making it more and more difficult to keep it. This is all about you, isn't it? Got to make sure your track record stays clean. Can't afford to lose a patient once you put your and neck on the line. This isn't about No, me. no, so you go overboard to make sure I don't screw things up for you and then ruin your perfect little reputation. It's not about me, damn it. I don't want you to die. Uh, excuse me. I, I, I was just wondering if I could talk to my brother for a second. He's all yours. <sighs> so apparently I just, yeah. Forget I, it. Okay. Forget it. What's up? Agent Trumbull. That's what's up. What now? Well, he's just trying to dissect my relationship with Jake. He's trying to prove that my marriage to Tad is just to keep me in the country. So, your engagement to Tad is a lie? Um, how old? Uh, well, you know what? Don't, don't let me fool you, Tad really younger than I look. I'll tell you a secret, actually. Hayden put the gray in. It makes me look a little more distinguished. Experienced, mature, right. I mean, come on, just because there's a little snow on the roof. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, Kara is, is, is okay with the age difference. Is she now? Yeah. And would this be your first marriage, Mr. Martin? No. How many times have you been married before? Well, technically, I mean, uh, I mean to the same woman. Children? Oh, I love them. Do you have any? Oh. Four. And how does their mother feel about this marriage? Well, that's kind of a trick question, see, because none of them actually uh, have the same mother. Um, but they're 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 great kids, and I'm really proud of them. One of them is a doctor, working overseas, just like Kara did. Like your brother did. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, what did your brother do to destroy his marriage to my daughter? Jake didn't do anything. I don't believe you. Any man would be blessed to have my daughter's heart. Your brother did something to crush it. I think what happened was mutual. In any case, it doesn't matter because Jake is a part of Care's past. I'm her future. Yo soy el hombre de lo futuro que Cara ama. 
We have to make sure no one finds out about this. If the authorities were to find out that Kara's getting married just to keep her here. Listen, don't, don't worry. I, I will keep your secret. I promise you. Oh, God. Don't worry. And I will do anything I can to help, anything at all. I, I could help you. I mean, listen, I can help you with, with, with the wedding, with, with the authorities, with whatever you need. I appreciate it, really. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course. I am going to miss having you around the house, though. Oh, no, we, we aren't going to, you no. know. No, you, you, need to, you need to live with Tad. We all know that. I just kind of liked having you around. I liked it, too. Hmm. Well, look, I mean, you, you, you've come a, a long way, you know. Uh, well, I'm not so sure about that. I'm going to go to the house, and uh, I will see you there, and then we're going to airport it, yeah? Yeah. I, again, amazing. Thank you. Of course, of course. All right. Yeah. Nice. Thanks a lot. That means a lot to me. It was the right thing to do. Now I need your support. Please agree to cut back on my meds, Griffin. K Kendall, I, I can't agree to that. But you're an adult. It's your life. You can do whatever you want, even if it's against my recommendations. No, I want more than that. If I can't have your approval, then I want your understanding. You saved my life. I don't take that lightly. Then don't take unnecessary risks. I'm, I don't intend to. I don't, and I want you to at least accept that. I, I trusted you with my life. I put my life in your hands. I need you to trust me now. I'll be back in a few minutes. I have to check on something. OK. Hey. She sounded fine. Oh, great. That's great. Did you say anything else? I'd like, did you, did you maybe hear anything else in the background other than the seagulls that could, that could give us a clue? I wish. I hate to see you going through this. I know how much you love her. We're gonna find her. We'll find her for sure. I'm no doubt you will. You're the best. That's dad a kid could ever want. Okay, so why the urgent text to come meet you? I don't trust you any more than Ryan does. And I know you don't do anything unless there's something in it for you. So why are you so helpful when it comes to finding Emma? I'm in desperate need of an image overhaul. So you can be a doctor again. You want your medical license back. You got it. Maybe you and I can make a deal. I'm all ears. If you can help bring Emma home, I swear to you, I will do everything I can as owner of this hospital to help you get reinstated here. I think we have a deal. Everyone is working and praying to bring Emma home. Annie doesn't stand a chance against that kind of love. Miss Norris? The doctor says she's going to be a little well still. Would you like to wait in a room? The father's welcome to wait with you. Oh, uh, I, he... I'm the father, and I would love to wait with her. Scott, I told you you didn't have to come. Yeah, I, I know, but I wanted to, just in case you needed me. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Hey, were you, were you able to get anything more? Out of Madison? No. Well, is she okay? Why is she here anyway? She's getting a sonogram. She wants to see her kid. I'd give anything in the world right now to see mine. Hello? Ted?
my gosh. <laughs> Mommy. Uh, what, what are you doing here? Isn't this the one you divorced? I have to figure out what Zach was trying to tell me, and I can't do that when those drugs are messing with me. Look, Kendall, I don't know if Zach was trying to tell you something through that letter. But I know he wouldn't want you risking your health in order to figure it out. You know what? You just do not get it at all. No, I don't. Have you ever been in love? 